Hi, this is Dr. Peter Kotsky from Spring Fertility, and I wanted to take a moment to talk to you about ICSI, or intracytoplasmic sperm insemination. That's where we take one sperm and inject it into an egg. This technique was developed in the early 1990s, actually it was developed before that in animals, but applied to human reproduction in the early 1990s. Today, it's used in over 70% of the IVF cases in the United States. How does ICSI work? ICSI is a procedure where the embryologist identifies a sperm that appears morphologically, that means appears normal looking and is motile and swimming forward. He then paralyzes the sperm by stroking its tail, aspirates it, and is able to inject a single sperm into the egg. This facilitates activation of the egg and fertilization of the egg and soon to be embryo. It's an extremely effective technique and results in successful fertilization about 75% of the time. For many fertility centers, all cases of IVF use ICSI. At Spring Fertility, we still have the option of a conventional insemination for patients who prefer that and are good candidates for it. Now, you may have read in our consent form that ICSI is associated with certain congenital defects and may be associated with some epigenetic changes. Why is this there? Well, we follow all of our professional guidelines, and it is recommended since 2008 that we include these risks in the standard consent form for IVF. Fortunately, since that time, multiple reassuring studies have demonstrated that slight risk of something called hypospadias, a minor congenital anomaly, are limited to men with fewer than a million sperm or men who need testicular sperm extraction. So for men with a normal sperm count or over a million sperm, we do not see any increased risk of congenital anomalies using ICSI. Now, if you have a low sperm count, less than a million sperm, there is an association with these congenital anomalies. Fortunately, they're quite rare. However, we don't really have a choice in that situation because the eggs would not fertilize without doing this procedure. The other thing you may have heard about is the epigenetic changes that also is in our consent form. This was based on one study and has not been replicated. So in summary, ICSI is the most reliable way to ensure that an egg is fertilized. It is, has years of experience demonstrating that there are no difference in outcomes between ICSI fertilized eggs and IVF fertilized eggs. We continue to monitor the literature and studies to see that this is the case but I want you to feel comfortable if you are using this form of insemination or fertilization that there is not an increased risk above what would otherwise be expected.